Hey gang, welcome to my little spiel, which is another word for lecture on essay one. Some things to consider. Your essay should be entertaining, right? You're actually trying to write something interesting. So this is about yourself. Um, obviously, you're probably the most interesting topic for you to write about, but that's not true of all your readers. They're not going to find, you have to actually tailor the topic to make it interesting and vibrant. And that's what we're doing in here with things like tone, with things like diction, and with things like rhetoric, and we're gonna go over that stuff as the term unfolds. What you need to know for essay one, please do not use coulda, woulda, shoulda as your title. You need to have an original and an interesting title that only fits your particular essay, right? It's like a shoe that only fits your foot. It's custom tailored. It's like a custom tailored, anyone have a custom tailored shirt? Um, I can't usually afford those, I've had a few in my life. Um, but, you know, your essay is like a custom tailored shirt that only fits you, that where a tailor has tailored it to you. And in this case, you are the tailor, right? So you're tailoring this title to fit only fit your essay. So if I see that coulda, woulda, shoulda, which is the title of the assignment as a title for your essay, or if I see a really bland title, a little bit about me or something like that, you're going to get marked down for that. You need to come up with something fresh and interesting for your title. Likewise, come up with uh, an interesting opener, the first few sentences of your essay. You don't necessarily have to spill all the beans about your topic, right? Um, this lecture, I'm going to assume you've already read the directions for the essay, so I'm not going to repeat stuff from the written lecture. This is meant to go along with that lecture. So grab the reader's attention gracefully, and uh, but that, that doesn't mean spilling all the beans at the beginning. The beans being maybe this, uh, jumping right into the situation uh, of whether or not you took a risk or played it safe, right? The body of your paper this time around, um, you do need to get a couple of outside sources in there. I did that basically so students wouldn't be tempted, they wouldn't get in a hypnotic state where they're just making themselves the topic of every sentence. I, me, my, such, such, and such to me, da, 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 I did this. You know, it is about you, but a lot of your sentences, the topics, or the, the subjects of those sentences need to be other things, like maybe the, uh, what's happening, you know, to you is the, is the topic, or, or something about the environment that you're writing about, right? So, Definitely you don't want to make yourself more than the, the subject of maybe one quarter to one half of the sentences, any more than that, and I'm going to have to mark you down a little bit because then it's just a slavish kind of dictation of yourself, right? It is about you, but the trick is to write about yourself without making yourself the subject of every sentence. Well, other, other subjects can be things that are happening. As I said, the environment, other kinds of things are the subjects rather than just yourself for every single thing. Otherwise, it's like a point of view where the reader just sees through your eyes of everything that's happening, right? That's what we don't want. We want it to be an essay, not, not a point of view thing where it's just everything you're doing and seeing and interpreting and all of your senses, right? Uh, the, your sense of smell. I smelled this. I saw that. Someone talked to me. I heard them, right? No, no. You want to you wanna actually um, craft... Uh, a first-person essay that's more interesting than that. And it'll make your writing much better if you do that. So do read the components of essay one, get into the body there and the conclusion. You want to kind of come back to that initial interesting part about your introduction. Uh, maybe pull back in terms of the tone and scope, right? Maybe you're talking about uh, some things that are happening in the body of the essay. Obviously, you're going to need to narrate things that happen, it's just you don't want to overdo that, but then you step back, maybe you get a more cosmic view, a more universal view um, related to humanity, or I don't know, something philosophical. That'll, that makes for a really nice conclusion to this essay. And as always, if you have any questions, don't, don't forget to email me, I'm here for you. But I do always expect when you email me that you've read the directions and watched the video if you can, right? So um, rather than just sort of reading half the directions and then having a question, just read the whole thing because then your, your question might be actually answered, right? And I really appreciate it, a, a student that takes the time to 
you know, read through everything before contacting me with a question. But I'm always happy to help with questions. That's what I'm here for. So, all right, cool. Looking forward to essay one. Have a good one.